Hi everyone, it's Wellgood and this is a brief retelling of the 2022 movie No Limit. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's roll! 12-year-old Roxana Obi, after her father was keeping score with her, cut her hand and went after him. Her grandfather rescued the girl and took it upon himself to raise his granddaughter, instilling in her a love of the water. Roxana would learn the depths and years later did not abandon it. She's now a university student living with her mother. After another lecture on diving and its effects on human lungs, the girl notices an ad. Soon the world champion in free diving Pascal Gautier comes to them, and everyone who wants can pay for the lessons with the athlete. Whom? Roxana tries to talk to her mother, but the woman is too picky about her daughter. She cares that the girl doesn't go to a psychologist and isn't at all interested in her hobbies or desires. Realizing that explanations don't make sense, Roxana leaves and texts that she would stay at her friend's house. At the same time, she spends the night on the beach, waiting for Pascal's classes, since she has no money for a hotel. Here she meets Tom, one of Pascal's instructors and assistants, who offers her his help. Stefan and Tom give a short briefing for anyone who signed up for their first freediving lesson. They explain that it's important to stay calm because you can't panic in the water. Soon Pascal appears on the boat, a charismatic and handsome man, who immediately arouses Roxana's interest. The students train and Tom notes that the girl has potential, as she's not bad at holding her breath and feels confident underwater. At the same time, Pascal decides to demonstrate a masterclass and dives to a depth of more than 80 meters. After the class, Tom realizes that Roxana has nowhere to go and invites her to their sports team party. The girl accepts his offer and meets the instructors and their friends in the evening. Roxana notices Pascal's gaze on her but doesn't react in any way and goes to the bathroom. Here the freediving world champion catches up with the girl and kisses her. She reciprocates and the couple makes love, after which they return to the others. One of the girls at the table is outraged by the man's behavior and leaves, because until recently it was Anne who was Pascal's lover. Roxana and Pascal spend the next day together, swimming underwater and enjoying the beauty of the seabed. A little later they join the freediving team for another training session for the world champion. While Pascal gets ready, the instructors check the equipment and explain the rules of diving to the girl. Today Pascal decided to dive to a depth of 172 meters to break the world record. To make sure everything runs smoothly, he's being guarded by 8 instructors, 2 for every 40 meters. After checking everything and making sure that the team is ready, Pascal begins his dive. A few minutes later he ascended and everyone is rejoicing. Then suddenly he realizes that one of the instructors is still deep. After diving for him, the group finds the missing Matthew and gives him first aid, but it's too late. They take it painfully because the guy was only 40 meters underwater, but his lack of experience was what killed him. The team meets the next day to honor Matthew and develop a plan of action. Stefan realizes that there's not enough instructors and they can't enter the competition, but Pascal offers to take Roxana to ensure him on the surface. Stefan is against it, but the other instructors support this decision and give the girl a chance to become a member of their team. In the evening, Pascal asks Roxana once again if she's ready to leave the university for sports, and the girl agrees, as she's ready to do anything to be near the man she loves. A few weeks of preparation come to an end and the team leaves for the world championship. Pascal dives to 172 meters and sets a new record for unaided diving. In the evening, the couple passionately celebrates the event, after which they join the team at a nightclub. Roxana calls her mother to tell her that she now has a man. The woman is outraged at her daughter's decision, as she's abandoned her studies and her bright future by getting involved with a man she barely knows. Roxana realizes that she was wrong to call her and ends the conversation, not wanting to listen to her reproaches. The next morning, another diver breaks Pascal's record and dives to a depth of 174 meters. The team is not going to give up and immediately begins preparations to dive to 176 meters. During the training dive, Pascal collapses and becomes unconscious. Stefan saves him, but he's advised to go to the hospital. The doctor receives Pascal's tests and also learns that this is not the first time Pascal has fainted. He asks Roxana to influence the athlete to end his professional career, as any dive could be his last. Pascal takes a short break and decides to turn his beloved into a professional freediving athlete. After weeks of preparation, Roxanne dives to 56 meters and becomes the champion of France among women. 
The girl quickly gains popularity and gives interviews. Suddenly, she notices her mother is at the competition. During their conversation, they argue, and Roxana asks Juliet not to come anymore, as they have nothing to talk about. At night, the girl has a nightmare in which she drowns. When she wakes up, she calls for Pascal, but he is as indifferent as a slad and ignores her request. On the second day of the competition, the American Numi Clark sets a new record and dives to a depth of 178 meters. Pascal learns of it and immediately arrives to dive to 180 to regain the title of champion. The competition administration forbids him to do so, knowing that not long ago the man had fainted and almost drowned. Angered by the refusal, Pascal left, leaving Roxana with the team. On the evening of the awards ceremony, Roxana receives a medal and becomes popular. Pascal is annoyed at the lack of attention to him and leaves the girl alone again. A little later, he apologizes for his behavior and explains why he behaves like this. When Pascal was five years old, his father abandoned him, and later his mother died. He grew up alone and unwanted, so he raised himself. Now he's a world champion and a holder of 25 records, but he doesn't intend to give up and he's ready to go all the way. Roxana forgives Pascal and offers to go home, but he refuses and decides to walk some more. In the morning, the girl learns from Tom that Pascal has left for another city. The reason is that many in the sports community gave up on Pascal as an athlete, because after the first fainting episode, everyone understands that it could happen again and they do not want problems. Stefan admits that Roxana is a talent and a born freediver, so he trains the girl and prepares her for competitions. Soon she's interviewed again and sweet-talked by a reporter. Pascal witnesses this and makes a scene of jealousy, believing that Roxana is behaving indecently. Soon Pascal offers to set a new world record and dive to 178 meters. The team does not support his decision, but the man is not going to participate in the competition and offers Roxana to conquer that depth. Stefan and Tom are against it, but the girl intervenes in the conversation and convinces them that she's ready for it. In the evening, the girl tries to talk to Pascal and explain that she doesn't care about championship titles and cups. She is ready to give up everything just to be near him and have children and create a happy family. Pascal is uninspired by this conversation and leaves the girl alone. Roxana guesses that her man is with someone and goes to a local pub for a drink. Here she meets Tom and kisses him, as she wants to get back at Pascal for cheating on her. A few years later, Roxana dives to 178 during training. Pascal decides to prove that he is still invincible and wants to dive to 180. While surfacing, the man faints again and miraculously remains alive. The tension between Pascal and Roxana continues to grow because the athlete no longer feels invincible. In the evening, he leaves and the girl decides to follow the man. Soon she sees Pascal in the arms of his mistress and heads to Tom's house to make love to him. In the morning, Roxana returns home to tell Pascal that she's leaving him and to pack her things. The athlete is outraged by the girl's decision and breaks the glass, injuring his hand. Roxana tries to calm him down and realizes that she can't leave her lover. For the next few days, she diligently practices diving for a few minutes. Meanwhile, Tom writes her love messages, but Pascal reads them and realizes that Roxanne is having an affair with one of the instructors. Before the start of another World Freediving Championship, Roxana and Pascal are interviewed, answering some provocative questions from journalists. At one point, the girl notices Pascal's mistress and interrupts the press conference to be alone. A couple of days later, everyone is getting ready for the competition, checking the equipment and supporting Roxana. Tom notices that Pascal is fiddling with the equipment he has just checked, but he doesn't pay any attention to it. Roxana dives to the 178 meter mark and signals that all is well. When she's allowed to surface, the girl tries to inflate the lifting balloon with air, but the cylinders are empty. Tom, who controls the dive, notices the air leak and lets Roxana go. It soon becomes clear that the girl has been underwater for too long and needs to be stopped, because upon surfacing, the athlete's lungs will tear apart. Tom fails to stop Roxana, and at some point she lets go of her equipment and falls back into the water column. The rescue team sees the device with a balloon on top and dives in to rescue Roxana. Stefan pulls the girl out of the water and administers first aid, but it's too late. Sometime later, the police interrogate Pascal and other witnesses to what happened. They pay special attention to Tom since he was responsible for the equipment that was ruined. Tom understands that Pascal is involved in Roxana's death, but he has no proof and the men are released. 
Sometime later, Roxana's grandfather swims out to the sea with an urn to honor his granddaughter. The old man weeps over his loss and, after saying goodbye to Roxana, pours her ashes into the water. That's the end of the movie. Thank you for watching.